Hello everyone. So I welcome you all in this uh, practical demonstration of configuring a FTP server. So today we are going to configure the FTP server using a Cisco packet tracer. So this is the topology that we are going to create. We are going to have two PC connected via switch and then we are using a router to connect to the server. So basically FTP is a, a protocol that we are using to transfer the file from one machine to another. So basically it is an intermediary which help us to uh, transfer the files from one machine to another. So in this experiment we are going to take two uh, computers, two machines we are having and one machine we will create one file and then we are going to upload the file onto that FTP server and then this file is to be transferred to another machine. So let's demonstrate all this using a Cisco packet tracer. So in our topology we are having the router, we are having uh, two PCs we are using and a server. So these are the uh, configuration that we are going to use in our setup. And then after doing the configuration we are going to create a file in one PC and then we are going to upload it to the server and then we will be going to download the same file from the server to the another machine and this is how we are able to transfer one file from one machine to the other machine so all these uh, steps uh, I have already uh, 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 copied and pasted in the uh, uh, packet uh, tracer environment so that we can uh, walk through with the steps and do our experiment so let's start with the Cisco packet tracer okay so this is the environment of a packet tracer and here you can see all the steps which I have shown is already mentioned here so that we can just walk through with these steps and uh, see how the things are working so as I uh, shown that we are going to use two PCs so here we can take the first two PCs okay PC1 And then also we'll take uh, other component which is required to uh, represent our topology for this experiment. And then we will take one server. Okay, so these are the components which are required or you can see the devices which is needed to uh, experiment. So this is going to be our FTP server. So we can just uh, write it here by just click it here and write FTP server. This is just to give an identity. Then we have to make connections. So to uh, connect the switches and PC, we are uh, going to use this uh, copper straight through cable. We can connect this. So you can see that how the connection to be made using which of the ports. Also we can use the automatic, you know, uh, this connection type to make a connections. Okay, so this is how we have uh, initial uh, uh, topology we have designed. Now we have to make a connection. So we start with the configuration. So let us configure the router first. So now this router is having two ports. One port is going to connect with the server and the other port is going to connect with this network which is having two PCs. So you have to keep in mind that, uh, that this port must be a part of this network and this port must be having the IP that uh, represent to this network. So here you can see uh, uh, it is using FA00 which connects to this server. So let us uh, uh, do the configuration. So click on it and go to config 
and here you can see so here we have fast ethernet 0 and fast ethernet 1 by 0 so we will go here and port status is on and here we will give this ID 10.10.10.10 dot one and it will take automatically it will take the subnet mask which is a, a mask for class A that's it and then we go to the uh, the second port which connects to our PC so make it on and then give the IP So this is done. We have set this IP for this port and this IP for the other port. So this router is having two ports. Then we are going to configure our PC and we have two PCs are here. So because uh, this is the IP that we have used uh, for the for the port which connects to this network. So we are using the series 192.168.0.2 for one PC and similarly we are using dot three for the other PC. So go here, desktop one ninety two. So here uh, in this network, what we are uh, doing we want to connect to this router so that it can take us to the uh, to this uh, server so we will keep the uh, default IP as the IP which has given to this port so we have given uh, 192.168.0.1 the IP to this port so we'll keep this IP as a default IP that can take all the requests to this port number okay so we'll write the default gateway here Okay, so this is done. Now we have to configure our server. We'll go here. And then you can see that uh, it should be given the IP that is also in the which actually matches to the IP which is given to the port of this uh, router which is 10.10.10.1 so we are going here 10.10.10.2 similarly we keep the default uh, gateway as IP of this port which is And then we go to the services because this server is going to be act as a FTP server. So we need to uh, set this uh, requirement. So we can go to services and here you can see all the services that can be uh, uh, available for any server. So we are interested in FTP. We go to the FTP and it's, it's already on here. 
and then we have to give the credential let's say user1 and test1 is a user password and then also we can uh, give the permissions like for if you see here is already one user and password is there either you can use the same which is given here or you can create your uh, new username and password and also we can assign the permissions so here it is assigning all the read write delete rename list again we will also let us take give these permissions to the new user and add it so you can see now the new user is added which can access this server and this is done we can close this so our all the configuration has done and you can see that in the network is up you can see with this green uh, blinks that uh, it's everything is connected now we have to create one file uh, in one of the PC and then we have to transfer the file to the other PC using this FTP so we'll go to the one PC and then we create one file let's say uh, we go to the text editor and here we can create one file then we will save this let's say the file name is demo1.txt okay then in the command prompt you will see that the file is created or not if we go here and we can see here and write directory and it say demo1.txt is already created here the next step is to upload the file onto the server before that we need to check that we are able to connect to the server or not we can use a ping command so ping 10.10.10.2 so it says that we are able to connect then to uh, upload the file we have to use FTP so we will make a connection to the server FTP uh, then the IP of the server 10.10.10.2 so it will ask the permission to connect that means we have to pass the username and password so username is user1 and the password is test1 and it says that you are eligible means you are logged in then we can upload the file using a put command so we will write put and then we will write the file name that is uh, demo.txt so demo.txt is not existing here let's see what is the file name mm. that is demo1.txt I guess put demo one dot text and it says that it is writing the file on the server and the file has been transferred successfully so we can see the directory as well that the file has transferred or not you can write here directory dir command and look for the file and you can see that the demo one text is now uh, visible here that means we have successfully able to transfer the file uh, onto our server now we have to download the same file from the server to this PC so what is required first we need to check that this PC is able to connect to the server or not so we will go here go to the command prompt and then check the connection by right at ping 10.10.10 dot two and it says that we have connected then we will uh, make a connection we'll write FTP dot two it will ask you the permission so we have user one and test one 
so we are logged in now we need to download the file so for downloading the file we can use this get command get and then demo one dot text so you can see here that it is showing that file is getting transferred and it has now transferred to the PC so this is all that we need to uh, see that how the file is transferred from one machine to another using the FTP uh, one more thing we can do to uh, cross verify that the entire transaction is complete or not we can go to the PC2 and check that the file has been transferred or not from the server so we go to PC2 and then we can go to the command prompt and then you can write here uh, check the directory you can write the directory command and see what are the files available here and you can see that demo1.txt is now visible here that means we are able to transfer the file from PC1 to PC2 so this is all for this session thank you very much